been a little while since I did an update, but I locked it all down, 180 grit, and then I went through and hit all my lows with the spot and glaze. So what I used was, this is the filler I use. that's what I started with, and then I primed it. And I came back and I used this ice icing. It's super thin. Sometimes it's a pain in the neck, but I got all the little lows taken care of. So I got everything basically all ready, masked off, ready for the second round of primer. So we got all the lows taken care of. So there's some spots on the roof still. Just little minor imperfections. Get with the glazing. So there wasn't a ton of spots, but there was some spots. But now I think I got it down to where the body's pretty smooth. And so tomorrow morning I'm going to spray a whole gallon of direct to metal high build primer so any spots that's showing a little bit of metal because the dark primer is the sealer the epoxy and then this is the high build primer but it's a hot it's a hybrid um, epoxy um, so it's epoxy hybrid with um, like a polymer or whatever it is, polyester. It's not polyester, but it's a poly. So all the little itty bitty spots that's metal flashing should be good to go. So these things, I prime these pretty well, so I'm just gonna wet sand these and shoot these with paint. So basically that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to put three coats and I'm not going to actually, because you could run this stuff multiple ways for a high build and for a regular high build and then for a, a sealer. And so I'm going to go probably the high build right here and then I might just put actually just a little bit more reducer in there and just give a little bit more time to set off. So there it is. We're almost there. It's hard to work a full time job and come home and do this stuff for the rest of the night. So everything's all masked, ready, ready for uh, the next round of primer and then, then we're going to be ready for paint. So we got everything. So all these like, you see the dark gray, that's the sealer, and then you'll see like this black here and there. This black is actually guide coat. And so I just have to go through and brush a little bit of wherever the guide coat is. But I took a lot of it off, I already sanded around all the wheel wells, everything, the jams. So we're ready for another round. So we're gonna put a whole gallon so whatever that sprays, if that sprays two or three full wet coats, we'll see. The last time I put like two coats on here and I had a half a gallon. So I should be able to run about three coats and maybe have a little extra. So if I need to shoot a little primer, I'm not worried about it. Get the primer on here so we can block her down. So I'm sorry about not going through all the stages that I went through right here, but it's super easy. This is just 180 grit, block it all out, find all your imperfections. What I did with all these, I put the glaze on there, and then if it was humped out, I just used some 80 grit to knock it quick, and then 180 it, and you can see that there's no scratches in any of this. It's super smooth, 
and that doesn't matter if there is a little bit of scratches because I'm putting another gallon of primer filler so we're gonna put that primer filler on here the stuff I've heard a lot of bad things like people saying the stuff sands horrible this stuff sands super easy but once you get everything super flat it will start clogging your paper but that means you're basically where you want to be so it works real good I use a dry guide coat and use this it works really well before I used some Omni um, primer uh, urethane high build primer urethane and it works good but this is for a direct to metal so if I got any spots that has a little bit of metal showing uh, at least it'll be sealed up with the epoxy it is of epoxy slash uh, poly so it should be good to go so all right well I'll let you see it once I get it all primed out so what I'm using is for this car I'm gonna use I'm using my turbine so I decided to do the 1 8 tip and then with the C the high solids cap so we're gonna try that out tomorrow we're gonna see how that works the other caps I don't know I was having problems it might have been too hot and my uh, reducer I should have been using a slow reducer and I, I think I was using this medium reducer and it was about 90 degrees so dumb on my part but I went out and I bought some slow reducer so if I hit it first thing in the morning when it's cool outside since it's summertime I should be able to get away with with that so I just bought my daughter a cute little car first car she has the 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 Mustang that's her car too but she don't know how to drive a standard so we don't want to burn that car up and we're gonna let her drive that little tiny Hyundai so anyway get back to the subject so everything's all blocked out ready to roll so I'll let you guys know once I get everything sprayed out tomorrow and maybe I'll put on my GoPro like I was supposed to last time but I got so so much see I mean look over here that's how much I'm involved in it that my GoPro is still out here in the garage it's probably dead I should go and charge it let's see let's see if my GoPro turns on oh it shows that it's on So maybe I'll hit it with the Go the GoPro. I'll hit it with the GoPro, and then um, yeah, and maybe you guys can see me spraying this tomorrow with the GoPro on. So we'll check it out tomorrow. All right, later, guys.
cast off. We're going to reshoot some primer. The last time I was having some problems and I was getting mad at my turbine, but it was actually not the turbine. It was my fault. Um, when you're running high build primer, these PPS cups have a built in filter. And that was my downfall, is I needed to take that, that inside filter on the lid on the PPS systems and just take that out, cut it out or whatever because the material is going to be way too thick. It's just going to clog up that filter. So this is where we're at. We got it all masked off. I got it all blocked down to 180. And I had some, uh, I had some breakthroughs a little bit. So we're still using some direct to metal high build primer. So I'm going to shoot this thing with uh, one more coat of high build primer. And then I'm going to then I'm going to turn around and start wet sanding for paint. So I did a dry 180 grit on the whole car. I didn't film none of that because I was just trying to do it after work and it was just a little bit too hard to film and try to get something done. So I masked all this last night, got it all masked off. That's how I like to mask off. I like everything totally masked off. All the door jams remasked all those. Yes, it's uh, a little expensive, spending a lot of money doing that, but it's the best way to do it. So I masked off all inside there. That's how I'm going to leave the, the hood. So let's get some primer sprayed. So I'm going to use this direct metal five star. It works really well. It sprays nice. It sands nice, but once it gets flat, then once once you sand it flat then it starts acting like it wants to clog the paper but just change your paper and it won't get clogged so use guide coat get your uh, blocking done um, it works really well so I'm gonna try to film with my GoPro today on uh, spraying so once I get the spraying part done and then I'm gonna show you I'm going to leave these parts. I'm going to have some extra high builds, so if I need to hit these again, which they should be good, I'm just going to turn around and wet sand them. There's not a lot of chunks in there. It actually flowed out really nice on those panels. For some reason, it kind of just screwed up on the whole car. But it's all right. I got it blocked down, got it to where we need it, and now we're going to go through, use our wax and grease remover. Got my pump right here so we're gonna use this guy right here I got a, a micro cloth towel sorry thing fell out of my phone but we got this micro cloth towel and that's what I'm gonna use to do my wax and grease remover so here's my wax and grease so I need to fill it up let the pressure out so anyway I'm just gonna get doing this I'm gonna start Wax, grease, and remove, and then we'll start shooting primer. Later.
got it primed. Whoa, that's, that's a little weird. And these like lines in my. See those lines? That's weird. All right, well, I got the high build on. And I got my gun cleaned out. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna spray it down with uh, some four to one to one and a half. All right, I'll let you know when I get going.
it, got it all primed up. I just went over a couple spots that might need a little bit more high build. I just put the sealer in there. So now it's all sealed up good. So, we're all primed now. High build's done. Now we're just going to start wet sanding. We should be good to go. You see how smooth that looks? 